Welcome to No Man's Sky Permadev Mode and here we are, we are up on the freighter, I'm looking at the Appaloosa. Now in the last part I spent a lot of time down on the planet in this system just wandering around as I run into a real cluster of bases and in this part I want to follow up on the comment that Phil Silvers has posted where he says that a toxic planet with five species can be very very good source of money in the sense that well, it should be easy to get five species. He says that one of them should be a flying species and there shouldn't be any predatory ones down there. So I just want to go and check that out, guys. So instead of sailing off to a new system, we're going to go back to that planet, see if we can get all five species because I want to add to my journey log and get this one going. And because, of course, if you see here, it's only the bottom three now, which I need to complete. And the most difficult one is the actual, well, the most difficult one of all is the extreme survival, but close behind is actually scanning all the creatures. But before we do that, guys, I want to show you the way I've reorganized my haulers up here. Now, Appaloosa is actually my advanced manufacturing hauler. Now you can see what I've done is I've been gathering all the necessary resources together to make the different levels. I still don't have the top level recipes for the fusion igniter and the stasis device. I think that's my bad handwriting here guys. But I'm getting close. I've got quantum processors. I've got the formula to make um, geodesite and I think the only one I've got missing at the moment is iridocyte as well. I don't think I have the formula for that and the cryogenic chamber. I don't think I've got the formula for the cryogenic chamber either. Oh, yes, I have. No, I haven't. So I'm still a few formulas missing, but hopefully we'll plug that in. And as you can see, what I'm doing is just manufacturing stuff up at the moment so that when the time comes, I will be able to knock things out pretty quickly and start making a bit of cash. And, and it's, it's also the fun of actually doing it, guys. And then over here, my other other hauler called champagne is my general one where is it uh, it's tucked up in the back here sometimes when you quit out and save the games and come back in again the all the ships actually on the freighter have been shuffled round for some reason and this one you can see is my general purpose hauler this is where I'm going to store uh, resources I need you can see I've got the items needed for the various races i've got some nip nip which i'm still not sure what to do of course above all i've got my spare drive ingredients tucked off in here and i think that's about it guys all i've got to do now is find my primary ship i'm not sure i think sometimes it moves it back over here doesn't it and what we're going to do is go off to the space station see if there's any missions that we will can take us down onto the planet and then we're gonna well go and explore the planet and see if we can find the two missing species now that could consume the whole well the whole part if it comes really quickly then i will we will then follow up and move on and grab a little bit of iron on the way through there's always need for some iron and we're just going to come in here put the proximity alarm or the space station. Yeah, so things are coming along quite nicely, guys. And one thing I am kind of half thinking about now is trying to get to the center of the gal this galaxy so we can see what the next gal galaxy beyond is and effectively boldly go where nobody else has gone before. I mean, that would be cool. No, oh, it's carbon because it's been refreshed because it's in. I've just reloaded reload, the game. Reloaded, I don't know. Okay, let's get you through, friend. Encounters mean really. Okay. Life form offers browse missions. Uh, I think we can go for repaired. Um, we go for rusted batteries. That might send us somewhere where we might be useful. 
hopefully it won't send us to another system and if it does well we just have to wait he knows often okay we'll just here damage machining coordinates received it's actually in this system and of course because the system only has one planet and as it's been pointed out to me in the comments one and two planet systems are by far the best systems to use when you are doing these missions and there it is I think it's going to send us back to where we've been before by the look of it yep here's the base kind of lodged up on the top of a mountain and there's the landing point just there going to do is bring some zinc back to the exosuit so that when I'm walking around I'll be okay so first out the back let's get an oops, no. a quick scan round oops scan the base some carbon perform critical maintenance wow that and boot sequence the repairs are complete and the device is transmitting diagnostic results to its owner transmit success Trans I transmit a signal to the object's diagnostic reporting tool letting the owner know of my success okay Let's have a quick chat with exporter Abu Some friend, yes. The trader stares at a cup. It appears to contain a dark black liquid hot to touch. Uh, let's offer units for the cup. I offer units the cup. The trader gives me some of the liquid for free. It invigorates wake me, waking me up. Health is at maximum. Okay, thank you. Yep, don't. So how much get of the get language I know. I, I stop filling in much in these comments. The trader looks at me, boggled eyed curiosity, they click their beak a few times, emit a neutral scent and wait for my request. We can ask for directions. Exporter offers me directions to a place of interest. Operation center to detect it. Okay. That's an hour away, okay. That's not going to be particular I think we've already got you a how far away is that? That's a 1 minute 41. Maybe we'll go and check that out. You never know what's there, guys. Scroll back. Oops. A bit of light flare. Well, we've got a lot of the plants and fauna here. Oops, a bit of... Pop up the horses here. I use that shielding shard up. And we'll go out and check that base over there. It's nice. Oh, look at that. There's another one down there. Oh, the bases are really close together on this system. See some damaged machinery down there. Okay. Then we can go down and get the. Maybe everything friendly. Yep. Certainly, go and get the damaged machinery. That's a nice big base there as well. That's certainly going to be worth checking out. Of course, one of the problems of finding the last species sometimes they can be quite difficult. What happened to that one? Yeah, there it is. Go check out that one first. And then we will wander down in the direction of that over there. 
that a good check over. Yeah, looks like it's just a, a minor supply depot. Never mind. Still going to go there. Might get something of interest or value. Up this. Electron vapor, that would be useful. And more Geknip. Look at that for a view, guys. That's a trading base, actually. Oh, great. How can I such a. Oh, I've walked off the edge. About to say what? Hey. Oh, I got damaged like that. There's no plant there. Oh, that was risky. Getting a bit too relaxed here, guys. Way too relaxed. And that's probably going to be a minor base as well. And the other thing Phil Silver says is about scanning the marrow bulbs. Something I keep forgetting to do because I know what they are. And let's grab a few more of these. Keep the cash flowing in. And there's, oh, there's a nice little crop there. We'll walk through that way. through. Ow. And I suppose I should scan them as well. Shielding is dropping. Is a really good crop of marrow bulb. Okay. Yeah, it's a transmission tower. The trump. Okay. What here? One five. I think we'll go with seven. They're all odd numbers. That's my hook. Don't forget it's increased. We've got a crash freighter. Wow. Well, we could go and check out the freighter. How far away is the freighter? Six minutes that way. And of course, we're definitely going to. Well, we're gonna, certainly going to claim the base. Selected. And that's a transmission tower. This is probably um, an observatory. If I can find the entrance, I can never find. Any creatures around. Okay. You're friendly. You're friendly. Birds and that often appear around dawn, so fungal mold over there. Let me go and get that. Grab that. Yeah, this looks very much like an observatory. Gek Observatory, okay. Seven eight zero eight be 0978. My instincts are correct and my efforts are amply rewarded. 
starting with the get is increased and we've got a marker for a ruin okay I'll walk through a locked door and we've got a little bit of I'm not gonna go around here and collect all the carbon guys but you never know wow another door beyond okay and we go beyond and there's another room okay so we've got two sets of rooms full of plants Okay. That'd be useful. And talking about that, I think I need to top my two up. And away we go. That is the base that I landed on. Yeah, two minutes. And my ship's up there actually. Okay, so there's another cluster of bases here. Wow. Well, right, I'm looking around for birds. There we are. Is that a predator? I didn't notice. Have a quick look. Uh, Astoria Saitor. There we go. I've got four out of five. Just need to find the missing, the missing creature. Not going to oblige by just showing up. Probably gonna have to do it the hard way, guys. Which is fine. Easy. And I'll just grab this. Clear this away. Okay, graph. And in we go. Hey, what have we got here? Oh, we got a traveller. Okay. Hello, oh, Mr. Traveller. I should have done it sooner. I was. I was afraid. How do I do it? How do I make it this right? The traveller seems ill and old. Its work's laboured broken with a decay like if for species. I do not know, but it tries to speak even in spite of its infirmity. Tell them to be honest. Actually, I quite like that as an avatar. Now, I, I do really hope that if they bring in multi player and where you can see your own avatars I know that you can play this in first person all the time but I think that'd be really cool to have an avatar like that they say they should never have deserted me that I did not deserve this life but they know I was just trying to help they passed me something through the smog of worlds and in that instant I, I know this individual but the vision passes the traveler stands before me but has nothing has happened if you could see the whole life would you still make the same choices would you still decide to be here at this exact moment, I, I wonder? You caught me in a pensive mode. Perhaps I can profit from this encounter with just a barter. Okay. And I, it's Travellers accepts my offer and gives me a package in return. 4,000. Okay, let's keep talking to him. He may give us the location of a grave. What's the rush, Traveller? Do not fret. Whatever problems you face, they will pass. We are all in this together. Uh, obviously, okay, where do they come from? Travelers that are obviously directions to a place of interest. Okay, anomaly space detected. Okay, now the problem with this base is the fact that once I leave it, I might not be able to get back to it, so I'm going to have to drop a marker down. Okay, guys, let's solve some stuff. So items for your inventory. Uh, mold. Uh, 
Okay. And of course we're gonna grab this. Oh, this looks cool, guys. Bet you it won't be 24 slots. No. That would have been really, really cool. Okay. First things first. It's only gonna drop a beacon here. Grave. 13 minutes away. Well, it's in the right direction, guys. So if we go this way, it's in the right direction. So if we go this way, back towards our ship, slam him over there. And there's a, another base over there. Right, there's Let's walk towards this base. This is 1 minute 30. We came in from that direction, so if we walk this way. And that was a turn up for the books, guys. I'm going to go and maybe get another glyph. This is a abandoned building. I'm certainly going to grab that. Gonna stroll in here. See if there's any hanging around from the roof. Get things that want to kill you from the roof. Right, I'm just gonna clear this away. Abandoned terminal. Turning user identified terminal now active, unlocking data log continuation of, of or analysis. Beneath the skin, they've placed their tiny seeds of glass which look in the appearance strange, rit ritualistic scarring. Nubs of the broken crystals are ancient, ground down, and polished by generations of them. They fed them their life, and in return, the crystals glowed with emerald fire and brought them closer to their fate. I would listen to their talk of worlds and would never have seen an alien tongues in their body. Made them out of the glass made of something more than they were a vessel for intelligence. Okay, analyze the data log. Discover something coded deep inside, yes. Something's been left from, to aid me on the journey. We got 40 of the nights back that I spent. Okay. So that's that done. And we've got something else over here. Go have a look see at this. So many things on my screen now. Okay. Yeah. It's almost like if you have a one planet system, they dump all the bases for that for a entire system on just one planet. I wonder if that's what they do. The way the the the, the game's proceeded that system could have so many bases and the less planets you have in a system the more the deeper the higher the concentration you will find on a specific planet no, no. hey stop creeping up behind me yeah, as I say one of that's the way this actually works okay let's just get have a quick look at this we might as well grab the base this rate, yeah, this is just a save point, but never mind. And the other base was over this way. Oh, let's just check this out. I need a bit of carbon anyway, so. Now, I, I think I'm getting distracted here, guys. I think we're going to make our way back to the ship. Go to the unknown grave, get a glyph. The ship is that way. Another base over there, okay. And there's a lash plant there. Get in. Have to stop. Yep, yep. Got you. Gonna 
go up. And there's something there. I saw something operating over here. Oh, I saw a creature. Damium and some zinc there. We'll try to get the zinc because we are going through quite a lot of it on this planet. Grab the thamium as well. Hello. Yep. Okay. And we'll grab the fungal mold. And we will be off to visit the grave site if I can sort out which one it is amongst all these markers. I'm just gonna top up this again. No grave, that's the crushed freighter. That's a ruin. I think that is the unknown. That's the unknown grave. Flip over the surface, and we'll just go and click that. Gonna be a little bit awkward for a landing point of view. Oh no, it's actually landed quite well. Wave should be down this way. It's almost like poisoned rain. Okay, and we've got another grave. Depths of the world through caves I fled until I found the whatever that was. Signals everywhere like the monoliths spread but spread throughout underground networks pulsating with vortex cubes, trace central elements, energies that doesn't. The fallen traveller's grave is marked by a glyph, an epitaph of some ancient technology. Extract the glyph. I obtain the glyph with the ability to travel to unknown worlds. I leave the fallen traveller in peace. And we've got glyph number seven, so we're nearly halfway there, guys. And it's gonna can't see any see any creatures. Some kind of base down there, so I think we're gonna. I think what we might do is go underground for a little while and see if there's anything under any creatures underground. And we'll Fungal mold. This is quite a nice planet, actually, guys. I think I, I operation center. We could go and visit the operation center, but I do want. Oh, this is a trading station. Okay. I could probably sell off some of the junk that I've actually accumulated. Bound to have accumulated some junk. Get charm, so let's sell off that. There's another base over there. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. See some birds on the horizon as well. I keep the mordite now. Sell the get charm. And we'll, I think we'll sell the get graph. About it birds up there but I think I've got them now yep okay so we're gonna go in search of the last elusive species and the shielding has dropped down again Let's drop that in hello mr. creature and we're just gonna go ahead for this one whoops I must have been sprinting without realizing it guys here we are we found another base it's gonna creep up on it a point detected this one's actually got a landing point on it so we can summon the ship to us that means I don't have to I can save some plutonium on that actually guys because it means I won't have to yep, 
suspension fluid. That'd be quite neat, guys. <laughs> Some health, about health at maximum. It's just nip in here for the moment while I, I do a bit of sorting out and general housekeeping. Kickman in here. Mr. Kickman. This is probably another observatory. Yeah, I'm not going to bother unlocking that. What I do want to do is sort out a few bits and pieces. That can go to my there. That should be able to go to my advanced. Well, it's got a bit of well, I'll just send that little bit of iron as well. Thought I'd been collecting iron. Okay, I think loads of carbon. That can go to the ship for the moment, along with the nip nip. That should be able to go into my suit, along with the chrysonite. Ah, the chrysonite is full. I can go back to the exit suit. No, it's just the platinum, the iridium's a bit low, obviously, because I've been expending it. So let's go talk to this guy. Friend Gek. If units, small creatures busy adding up the trade profits when I appear, rise a wide open anticipation of their first contract, they rub their fingers together greedily. The life form pecks emphatically at the monetary figures on the pad, then bounces up and down. Uh, we'll give him ten units. Make him happy. The life form clearly thrilled, and they give me something in exchange. Uh, six nanites. Okay. One more go. The trader stares at my visor and clicks the beak. Then you assume that they're supposed to make me feel welcome. Uh, let's go for another ass directions. Trading post. Okay, that's probably going to send me back to where I've just come from, probably. Yeah, 15 minutes. Right, let's just make. Uh, make a bypass chip. That can go to. Right, let's just summon the ship in. Right. Another scan round. Where are we going now? That's an operation center. That's 14 minutes away. Let's fly that way. Wow. It's just so much stuff around here. There's probably quite a big base actually. No, I'm not going to get distracted, guys. Let's, let's go for the operation center. Get this, clear this off first. And look what I found, guys. A drop pod. Are you going to drop in on the drop pod? Okay. Got this here. This rate, I might even complete all my drop pod slots in on this planet. That'd be cool. Technology. Let's let's do a technology slot. I've done lots of kind of suit upgrades, and I'm not really using them all. I certainly want to get rid of you. Um, manufacturing center is that way. Where was that manufacturing base? Trading post. Oh, there's just so much stuff, and the sun's coming up. 
Yeah, let's, let's walk a little bit more, guys. It looks like we found another trading base. Okay. This is kind of cast round for creature. Actually, I haven't scanned the Thamium. I've got to get in the habit of actually scanning all the bases. I probably haven't scanned the Plutonium, actually. Come think of it. No, I haven't. That's a fail, isn't it? Look at that, a cluster of three knowledge stones as well. We'll certainly go and get those. And I'm just about to walk off the edge of a cliff. I remember not to get myself killed that time. Okay, let's go and get the knowledge stones. Just understand what Phil Silvers is saying about how rich these planets are and how you can make money and accumulate stuff. We haven't actually had a storm either. Famous last words. Oops. What I'll do is find where the last creature is hidden. Okay. Wait, get off my get off my landing pad. Actually, what we're going to do, this is dropping. If we get in here, I can save a little bit of zinc on when I recharge the system. Let's shoot in here a little bit. Is that all part of the same base, or is that another part? Okay. Let this build up. And then we can just top this up again. Grab the nanites. So let's see what we got here. Start off some more junk. Got the fascination bead, don't really need it. I uh, got some gold, cloth of a keen dagger. Certainly want the radium. Hello, uh, Mr. Geck. Friend, despair, get trader, something sent, get oxide. The air around it speaks, life force smells foul, it seeps into my exosuit and makes me gag. Noticing in my expression, trader pecks at an element they carry, it breaks the substance into pieces and swallows each hole. There's a deep gurgle in the gek and makes a gas packet that smells delightful. The creature wipes the empty thing there. Ah, uh, we're thanking with common isotope. Well, to brief thank you that pays the contribution we perhaps preferred something else oh we got a thousand credits keep adding there federation help trader is clicking at the beak and drooling slightly drool is about to hit the hem of his suit and i managed to snort it back through his <laughs> well thank you uh do i ask for directions or now i'm just gonna ask for language i think I think I've got enough markers blow kind of blow me out the water. Let me grab that. It's just recharge my health. That's restored my shields. I actually need it. Wow, this looks looks interesting. Twenty four slots. B class. Okay, let's think this through. Because at the moment I've got a. Let's just have a look at the multi tool. Okay, tab. I've got an S class multi tool that's got plus seventeen percent damage, zero percent mining, thirteen percent scanning. Now, if I, I actually quite like the look of this as well. If I, this has got nine percent damage, five percent scanning, but I'd have the extra slots. So tempted, guys. Compare. That would give me the full 24 slot scanner. I would have to put everything back in again. And. Uh, um. No. 
I'm torn, guys. I'm completely torn because I can I can see the advantage of having 24 slots, but I'm not using all the slots at the moment anyway, and I would actually lose. The scanner range isn't so important. The damage, eight percent damage. Uh, I do like it. The look, actually. Let's have a look. That looks quite cool, actually. Oh, this is a difficult call, guys. Difficult call. I mean, I don't really just want to buy it because it's twenty-four slots. Now I think I'm going to stick with my current one. I think I think I'm going to explore more bases and see if we can actually gain. Yep, what I'm going to do is stick with my current one, and then what we will do is effectively, how can you say, see if we can find an S class. Yeah, and see, if, and see if we can find a top level multi tool with 24 slots. I think that's going to have to be an objective. Also, oh, this one, the one I've got, is okay. I mean, no, it's it's fine. Okay, you've got an operation center one hour. The creature is proving. I can't see any creature around here at the moment. Anything on the horizon? Any white dots? Got lots and lots of stuff there. That's another observatory. I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go for that operation center. Keep. Base over there. <laughs> Not here. Suspiciously, like that might be a manufacturing base. Okay. Yep, that's a manufacturing base, okay. Yep, go away, Mr. Drones. Or nanites. Get manufacturing facility, okay. Warning, production formula run selected, assigned formula, get ACE Federation. The alarm has rebooted the facility, an automated startup routine is running. Three chemical symbols flash on the screen a silica, an isotope, and an oxide. Machines around begin to hum. So let's choose it. Let's choose an isotope. Installation startup procedure is completed. It rewards me with a product formula. Come on. I mean, semiconductor. I think I've already got that. That's a bit. That's a bit. No, uh, it hasn't ticked off, guys. So, so I've got a semiconductor. So I'm sure I had semiconductor. Okay, let's just have a. Oh, I can't do it anyway. I would have to go up to my ship to do it. Okay. And get the fungal mold. Right, this last creature is proving very, very elusive. Oops, we, oh, it's over there. Okay, don't disappear on me. Ah, it's big enough when I found it, isn't it? Okay, so in theory, that should be it, guys. Don't want that. Discovery. We've got all five species. Upload all. And there we are, guys. Might as well upload all here. That's where. Upload all here. 
and we've now got all the species that rounds off this very very nicely guys and now just to tidy up what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and check oh, there we are mission journey milestone accomplished archivist and we've now discovered all the species on seven planets What I'm going to do is clear the operations base so I'll see you when we get there and then we'll go up, cash in the mission and then that will make it all set and ready to go to a new system in the next part. So I'll see you once we get to the operations centre guys. Right guys we're just coming up on the operations centre. You know, I've flown over quite a few different bases here to get here. There's just so many bases on this. There's the landing point. And so you're gonna grab some more of this. Okay. Get round here, find the entrance. Have to blast our way in. A couple of sentinels lurking here, but we'll be okay. I actually haven't killed a sentinel for quite a little while, actually. Stop transfer. Okay. Get operation center. There's sundry there, interstellar starship. The llamas cover the terminal's unreadable static. I can only make out a few bits of text. They're hopefully enough to make sense of what the last user was working on and can restore the system. But there you go. Hyperdrive. The previous user's workflow is restored. The system comes back online. And we've got a positronic ejector system. Okay. Well, always wanted one. I'm just going to extract the nanites. I'm going to go and check down here. Find the locked door. Something here. Builds at maximum. I grab a little bit of. It'd be really cool if some of these terminals and that act were actually interactive. I mean that'd be fun, guys. I mean I don't know what they'd interact with, but just be a little bit of fun. Devices. Oh, I got 173 credits. That's, that's the door came through. So where does this go? Okay, let's just have a quick look behind the doors. Oh, it's got some plants in here. Again, it'd be really nice if you had something like this. And if you came in here, you actually found some, say, rare elements or something like that. Especially elements that may be to do with the advanced manufacturing say like you found a cache of sulfurine or radium or something like that rather than just like the things so so it makes it worth exploring these areas because obviously radium and sulfurine and I think it's nitrogen are quite difficult to collect so if you could find caches of it hidden in some of these bases uh, I will top this up just for the sheer heck of it Get use up that shield. Actually, my actual what do they call it? My life support. Considering all the running round I've done, I haven't actually consumed much of my life support, have I? Okay. Anyway, all right. So we're just going to go up to the space station, cash in that thing. But we're just going to grab that as well, just to. I've already damaged it and we'll grab a bit more of that ah, a tiny little bit more radium definitely gonna have to think about setting up a mining stations okay one thing I haven't found for a very long time also guys is a unique ship I mean I've, I've seen so many videos and things where people show all these unique ships and I'm, I haven't actually found one at all actually 
Uh, I think I found one, wasn't it? Earlier on in the when when I was playing, I didn't have the cash to buy it. But I haven't seen anything since. So maybe we'll come across a unique ship eventually. It's going to come in here. And go and talk to Mr. Geck. Get Captain Shurik. I think we've done very well by your missions here. My form offers me access to a list of missions. Browse the missions. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to hand one in. It's me thinking ahead. Hand in mission. Rusted batteries. We get a fauna analyzer tile. I think I've already got one of those, but never mind. Standing with Explorer's Guild has increased. Okay. And we will have a quick look at what missions have been offered. That was mission. Eliminate, collect an item. Exterminate planetary creatures. I think the next jump's just going to be a freelance jump. Right, guys, this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. I think we've proven Phil Silver's comment to be totally accurate that if you really want to do missions and make lots of money the systems with only one or two planets is obviously the way to go and of course if you want to actually do set up a base and do more exploring then maybe the bigger systems work so i think we've proven something there guys so this is where i'm gonna leave it hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it interesting and until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming